everybody, Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan, innovation that excites. The Lobos have shown few signs of weakness lately. They are exuding confidence in everything they do. String together a few Ws, that's exactly what happens. We'll see if they can keep it up. Thanks for checking out the pregame show, NCAA College Football Action, coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. Stadium located in the heart of Albuquerque, New Mexico. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Hamilton is on the field to kick this one off, and everyone in the stadium is ready for this game to get started. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Final game for these seniors on their home field. Some will get to the next level and play some more football. Others, they'll be putting the helmet on for the final time. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. is left going the other way he's got an opening to the 10 touchdown Lobos he splits the uprights with the extra point like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 23. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. They just gave the defense a gift by handing them the lead with that last interception. Now they've got to play from behind. He's going to go for the home run. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. As a defender, you want to keep your hands up. Maybe you can come away with a pick or at least deflect the ball. From their own 23-yard line, second down. Scrambling around. They'll bring him down right around the 28-yard line. taken down at the 31 yard line that series left the offense scratching their heads a little it did a pretty good job of not letting the offense get much going on that possession tally is back awaiting the punt tackle at the 44 It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. New Mexico is up seven. Tackle at about the 45. Hollard's the kind of player that keeps defensive coordinators up late at night, Herbie. I mean, if you load the box and take away the run, he's going to go up on top. If you sit back in the zone, he'll kill you with his legs. I mean, he's a great player. He's scrambling. There he goes. 
He's tackled right around the 48-yard line. Pollard picks up about seven yards on the scramble. Nice run, and he's brought down. This is one of their special plays they like to call to keep the defense off balance. When you can get first downs in unconventional ways, you have the edge over your opponent. He's got to throw it in a hurry. And he can't get away from the pressure. And for Fox, that sack was his fifth of the year. He really fought to get to the quarterback that time. He's certainly shown that he can get it done on a week-to-week -week basis. It's second and long. Ball on the 47-yard line. There's a strike complete, and he's tackled right around the 42-yard line. Got a receiver, and he dropped it. New Mexico is up by a touchdown. New Mexico's looking awfully impressive right now in defense, but we are in the first quarter. Yeah, this is about a dominant first quarter that we have seen in a long time. But let's see if they can continue to play this well throughout the rest of the ballgame. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Catches it, and he's punished. Throwing left. He hauls it in and gets out of bounds. He's caught 60 balls this year. I can see now why this receiver has so many receptions this year. He's fast, he has good hands, and he's very hard to bring down. Fires out to his wideout. Brought down right around the 44-yard line. He's taken down at the 46-yard line. Johnson comes away with two yards on the carry. Open receiver, no good. Clark was the intended receiver on the play. So they couldn't pick up the long yardage, and now they'll have to punt. It was a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Watson awaits the snap. He'll take it from the 18. They'll bring him down at the 30. You talk about our meetings this week with the defensive coordinators, Kirk, and this is what they were hoping for, that they can control the line of scrimmage. Well, these players must have been listening pretty intently because that's exactly what we've seen. These defenses have come out. They've controlled things early, trying to just set the tone. It's really going to be up to both of these offenses to try to make some adjustments and try to be able to come after them in some way. New Mexico up seven points. Makes it to the 41. And for Morris, that carry puts him over the 1,000 mark for rushing yards this year. What I've been impressed with all year long is the way this guy's earned those yards, oftentimes breaking two, three tackles before someone finally brings him down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. made at the 47. He zips it out to the left. Oh boy, almost intercepted. 
Sanders back deep to return. At about the 25-yard line. The Lobos are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you've talked to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down like this. Throws complete, and he stopped immediately. That's a D. And down he goes around the 42 yard line. And they make the stop at the 46. Quick pass. Now he tries to buy some time. They'll bring him down at the 48. Hunter on play action. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. That's good for the game. Left, left, left. First down. Three down. Three down. Three down. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. The option keeper gets him two, maybe three yards. Boy, this senior safety provides such solid run support. He stopped him in his tracks that time. Second down and seven. Ball on the 30. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. Quick throw, caught, touchdown. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he converts the extra point. An eight-play, 76-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. But this time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. They get a tie game at 7-7. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. Takes it right side for a good game. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Tackles him hard at the 47-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. Decent run here, right side. That's 
from the 35-yard line. First down. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. He fights forward to about the 30. This is definitely going to be pass interference. However, I'm not sure who they're going to call it on. Offense. That penalty is declined. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. New Mexico is looking to go up by three. It has the distance, and he nails the long field goal. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 27-yard line. Can this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down to the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up to go out there and get some more points on the board. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. The option can be really tough to defend. At that time, it was well played by the defense. Second and 14. Ball on the 23. So the Aggies saw one of their top players going down earlier, but it looks like he's going to be able to get back in there. He's taken down at the 26. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Throws out and through his hands. Tally is the deep man awaiting the return. Fields it to the 39. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. New Mexico holds a field goal lead. Here's a running play. And he hits him hard at the 49. By the time the running back here got the football, he's looking up and he's got a couple defensive linemen closing in on him because they were able to slip off of their blocks. Really, there's nothing he could do at all there. That was more of a miscommunication and just getting overmatched up front by the offensive line. An exciting first quarter comes to an end. 10-7, Lobo. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Check, 93's the mic, 93's the mic. Hey, pick it up, defense, let's go. Big opening. And he is drilled at the 33-yard line. for a loss. 
These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. From the 36-yard line, second down. King takes the delayed handoff. He makes it to the 35-yard line. He's going left, and he can't hang on to it. They'll call on the field goal unit. New Mexico is up a field goal. It's up. And the kicking team goes to the sideline very disappointed. So our count is still 10-7, New Mexico. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Makes it out to about the 43. Runs right for a nice game. That's good for a gain of seven yards. First down. Let's get this ball back to the offense. Let's go. Let's go. He's got it with room to run. Tackle around the 45 yard line. That's a game of five. We don't want that. That brings him second and five. That's a great tackle at the 43-yard line. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. It's fourth down. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. Utah State is down three and looking to tie it up. The kick is up, it's got the distance, and it's wide left, no good. Well, sometimes when you see a kick like that, the kicker is trying to compensate for a factor, maybe like the wind, and he thinks he can hook it back in. It didn't happen that time. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. New Mexico has a three-point lead. got room to run. Tackled after a decent pickup. Runs outside for a nice game. Around the 35 yard line. Caught it, but they're going to lose yards. He was tackled immediately. They get a one yard loss on that one. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Screen pass. He's got his half back. And he's tackled around the 26-yard line. Nice run there. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. From the 22-yard line, first down. Gets out to about the 21. 
for a gain of one. Got you pumped. 91 in the mic. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Man, did he play that perfectly or what? As a linebacker, you have to be able to read the offense and make a quick diagnosis, which is exactly what he did on that play. And once again, they'll come to the line trying to convert on third down. New Mexico is up by three. it out and that was almost picked off and that makes it fourth down boy great defense on that play they were expecting the pass and they defended it very well by getting a hand in there to break up the play fourth down it looks like they're going to try for the long field goal he gets it up and he got it yeah he got some good leg behind it and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goal posts our score after the field goal new mexico 13 utah state seven Hamilton has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He's to the 20. He's knocked out of bounds around the 20-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Runs it and tackled in the backfield. Makes it to the 22-yard line. There's a the strike complete. Tackle made at the 41. The defense saw a clear path to the quarterback and got a little too wide-eyed there. They need to watch the over-pursuit and play with more discipline. From their own 41-yard line, it's first down. Brought down at about the 41. They go with a run. He's at midfield. And down he goes at the 40-yard line. Gets it out quickly. And they make the stop right around the 26-yard line. Well, that's the beauty of running play action against zone coverage. In man, the defender has his eyes on the guy's covering. But in zone, the defender's looking right at the quarterback. That's why that play action worked so well for a first down. They weren't sure if it was a run or a pass. Gives it up the gut. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Down immediately after the catch. That's good for a game of 14 yards. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 11. So the Aggies' running game really took a big hit. Their key back went out earlier with the injury. Doesn't look like he's going to be able to come back today. And he's taken down right around the 16 yard line. The defense was just all over that play. It didn't fool anybody. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Watch 85, Watch 85. Let's go, defense. Let's go, defense. 
There's a little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. Ball start. Off of this. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch is going to be enough to draw the flag. So it's second down and long now after the penalty. They try running left. He makes his way out to about the six. Completely stopped immediately. So it's fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. Kicks up, and they tack on three points. Coker gets set to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And they can forget about returning this one. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. New Mexico holds a field goal lead. Scrambling around. They'll bring him down at the 26-yard line. It's a good job by the defense to remain aggressive and minimize the yardage on that run. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on their own 26. And he can't get away from the pressure. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Throws incomplete. Strong showing by the defense. You always like to get the other team's offense off the field as fast as you can. So the Aggies wide receiver out with that injury earlier. He's still in the locker room. We don't think he's going to make a comeback today. Sanders takes it to 36. He's tackled at the 45. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Quick pass. He's taken down at the 48-yard line. Utah State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. They bring him down. Going long. And he's tackled right away. That's a first down as they hooked up on the deep round. And the defender just got outrun and outplayed by the receiver. He wanted it more, and that allowed him to make a heck of a play. Just throws this one away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 12. Rose complete touchdown. And for Austin, that gives him a share of the school record for career touchdown catches. He's caught touchdowns in just about every conceivable way but I'm sure having the record to himself would be even more important. And he adds the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one.
In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Give to the tailback. Nice run, and he's brought down. King picks up about seven yards on the run. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He fires, and he can't hang on to it. I guess he'll throw this one as far as he can and hope for a miracle. We've played a half. The Aggies lead 17-13. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being. And we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's it's fun. It's 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 living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen, on the big 60-inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit. But great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. Please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by like a, a soccer player, please. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 30. So the Aggies continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. He wasn't decisive at all on that option. And once he kept it himself, there was no place to go. Second down at 14. Ball on the 26-yard line. Here we go. Rush 59 Philly. 59 Philly. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he hits him hard at the 36. run to the left there. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. Gets to about the 47-yard line. Gaining two yards. Third down. Ready? 91 in the mic. Let's go. Easy, easy, easy. Rally. Caught, and he's hit immediately. No gain on the play. That'll make it fourth and six. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. Oh, 
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Utah State holds a four-point lead. Tackle at about the 33-yard line. He throws left. He's tackled around the 47-yard line. And he throws it away. That was incomplete, and it looked exactly like their last pass. It was exact same play, and I think the offensive coordinator just tried to pull a fast one. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. And he just gets rid of it. deep lays it out there what a play and that'll set up a first and goal and they get nice yardage on that run Touchdown, Aggies! Yeah, baby! That's my boy. No need to pitch it as the quarterback's able to run it in. I'll tell you what, when you're a quarterback and the goal line is right there, it's pretty hard to pitch the ball when you think you can get in. That's a smart decision to keep it for the score. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Coker is lined up to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. He's tackled at the 36-yard line. Gets out to around the 48. Makes it to the 44. That makes it second and two. He makes his way to about the 32. Knock him down for a loss. The offense couldn't get those linemen blocked, and they'll lose yards. Well, here the defensive lineman did a great job at sealing up the hole at the line of scrimmage. Second and 14. Ball on the 36-yard line. He makes it to the 35-yard line. Ready. 
Looks middle. Got his back. Tackle made around the 28-yard line. Pickup of about seven that time on the screen play. It's a well-designed play to the halfback, and it worked at least to get them a medium gain on the play. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. Might have been some early movement up front. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five-yard setback can do damage to a drive. It's up. And it hits the crossbar. No good. The offense will take the field, and they've been moving the ball very well on their last couple of drives. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. Brought down at the 34-yard line. Hunter only picks up about a yard there on the option. Just throws this one away. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From their own 34-yard line, third down. Tosses out to the tailback on the screen. And they make the stop at the 32. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. And he's taken down at the 38. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. After a decent run up the gut. And down he goes at the 48. Taken down at the 43. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. No gain on the play. That'll bring up third and two. They're not quite in field goal range, so this is a pretty important play on this drive. He's going to come up short. Good tackle. Gain of one yard. That'll bring up fourth and one. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Out to the tailback, and he dropped it. It's second and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. He's going right. Leaps. Picked off. He's at the 40. They'll bring him down at the 32-yard line. Just when it looked like this offense might be able to put this game out of reach, 
You turn the football over with an interception? Boy, this could come back in a big way to bite you. From the 32-yard line, it's first down. Carries the ball for a nice game. He gets out to about the 25 yard line. That's good for a game of two yards. That makes us 33. just gets rid of it. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. And he just drilled it from long range. New Mexico to kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Sanders fields at the goal line. He makes it out to maybe the 20 yard line. Offense comes back out looking to improve from their last effort. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Taken down at about the 23-yard line. Personal foul. Face Basement. Defense. Defense. They're giving away free yards and only down. making life easier for the guys on the other side of the ball. First and 10. Ball on the 38. Utah State is up by eight. Great concentration to pull it in. Tackle around the 49-yard line. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. The halfback option good for seven yards. That makes it second and two. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. He's into the open field. Gets out to around the 32. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. He's going to go for the home run. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. And this play is number eight on the drive. Under pressure, throws to the tailback, incomplete. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. Utah State up by eight. It has the distance, and he splits the uprights. Coker gets set to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. 
They'll bring him down at the 23. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. It's not over yet, folks. We head to the fourth quarter. 27-16, Utah State. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. And he stopped behind the line. From their own 24-yard line, it's third down. Flips it middle to the running back. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 27 yard line. Hamilton awaits the snap. Sanders takes it at the 32. He makes it to the 42 yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. And that one's incomplete. Strike to the receiver. Touchdown! Big play! And for Hunter, that's his third touchdown pass of the game. What I'm noticing more and more about this guy is he's very patient with the ball, and it's resulting in some nice scores, just like we've seen today. Tacks on the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So the Aggies defense came to play, and man, they have played beautifully. How many do they have dressed out there? 12 or 13 <laughs> defenders? I mean, they're flying all over the field, and this poor offense just can't move the ball. They have no chance. The defense shut them down on their last drive, forcing a quick punt. He's tackled at the 41-yard line. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Aaron and out long. And a great catch downfield. I'm not sure that'll be enough at this point, but it's good to see them moving successfully and giving it their best effort. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. 
Second and 10. Ball on the 29 yard line. Scrambling around. Decides to slide. Man left, man left. Two down, three down. Check, 93 the He's on the run, and they got him. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. 91 is the mic. I'm here all day. Ready. <laughs> Deep pass to the end zone. Incomplete. Almost picked off. When the first down marker is that far away, someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And the one thing is that any defensive coordinator will tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. He is drilled at the 38-yard line. Here's the pitch, and now he's got the corner. He's at midfield. Knocked out of bounds at about the 47-yard line. Watch two, watch two. He's tackled at the 33. He scrambled, runs with it, and he's got room. Slides down to the ground. Gets it to his wide receiver, and he's got another one. Tackle made at the 18. Right, makes the tackle at the 18-yard line. That makes it first. From the 18-yard line, first down. They try to run it inside and hammer it down. That makes it second and ten. Ball takes the give. They'll knock him down for a loss. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. One's fallen incomplete. They'll call on the field goal unit here. The kick is up, and it's good. Utah State lines up for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback.
Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. And they make the stop around the 34-yard line. the 41-yard line. He's scrambling, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. their own 39-yard line. Second down. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. Around the 28-yard line. Now he's scrambling. Slides down. Gets it. He's in space. And he's taken down around the 11 yard line. He makes the PAT. So that's an eight-play, 75-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. And he's taken down at the 42-yard line. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. get him in the backfield. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. It's second and 12. Ball on the 43-yard line. Just over two minutes in the game. He's got an opening. They'll bring him down at about the 29-yard line. Runs it right. Nice pickup. Ball. Gains about four yards on the play. New Mexico's going to take their first time out of the half. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 25-yard line. Tackled for a loss. Man, did he play that perfectly or what? As a linebacker, you have to be able to read the offense and make a quick diagnosis. 
which is exactly what he did on that play. Now we'll see how the backup can do after that injury. Quick strike, and it's caught for the touchdown. The touchdown, and that should do it, Kirk. And he converts the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. A touchdown was the end result of their last drive as this offense moved the ball very well with their passing game. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. But he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. From their own 27-yard line, third down, just over a minute in the fourth quarter. He's looking for his man. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. He's taken down at the 49-yard line. Makes a catch and he's got nowhere to go. That makes it second and eight. the ball third down now and they need to get it inside the 41 throws in the middle tackle at the 47 yard line So the big blow comes from the defense. They come up with the stop of the day, and that'll ice this football game. They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sideline, trying to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop them this time. You know, when this defense went over to the sideline, based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator's got to be livid. Uh, he's got to get in their face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score, Utah State 44, New Mexico 23. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.